It is certainly my privilege to work with the leadership of both the legislative and executive branches to try to determine a budget uh, that is uh, beneficial to all North Carolinians. Uh, but my specific role has been to advocate for our judicial branch. And I can assure you there has been no more critical time in the history of our state when those resources, as allocated by this budget, are critical to the administration of justice for all the people in our state. Uh, we're fortunate that the General Assembly has put itself into a position, put our state into a position, that we can have a roughly $26 billion budget debt-free, and for that they need to be commended. Uh, how should this budget be allocated? Uh, our Constitution places that squarely within the General Assembly. Uh, my request as I look at our branch and the vital needs of our branch is that this budget be enacted so that we can keep the courts open and that justice will be administered without favor, denial, delay. Equal justice for all North Carolinians. We need this budget to do that. Sure, so uh, our current system, uh, apparently developed somewhere in the 1980s, uh, you know, it's not quite as bad as, you know, cavemen chiseling on stone or something, but it's a paper-based system. It's uh, a system that has uh, uh, mainframes, and uh, uh, we certainly uh, uh, spend a lot of resources maintaining a system that is antiquated. The new system, eCourts, will have cloud-based storage, but more importantly, it can be accessed by anyone in the state at any time. It's an access to justice. We call it eCourts. In addition to that, it enhances the um, information that law enforcement has at their fingertips. So when they make a traffic stop or when they do a home uh, uh, well check or whatever it may be, they will have information that is critical for their safety and for their proper uh, approach to whatever the situation could be. Uh, and of course, as we've talked about during our pandemic, uh, how do we keep the courthouses open safely? Uh, uh, we've had to deal with this. In North Carolina, uh, we have our hurricanes that come through. Uh, and so what do we do when the courthouses physically have to shut down and yet you've got all these filing requirements or needs need to file? Sure, historically, uh, the Federal Victim of Crime Act has provided uh, resources for district attorney's offices to hire individuals who were uh, the victim coordinators to help victims understand the process and when they needed to be into court to help them as they work through the trauma of having been victimized. Uh, uh, it provided positions for our clerks of court, uh, but also for guardians at, uh, ad litem. These are individuals appointed by the court to represent the best interest of children uh, during abuse and neglect proceedings in, in our courts. So these positions, uh, having historically been funded by this, uh, were subject to being uh, deleted because the federal government withdrew those funds. Uh, fortunately, we were able to work with our General Assembly as well as individuals from our, uh, the executive branch to help us maintain the funding uh, during this interim time, uh, but also to make that a part of uh, the current uh, budget proposal. And we're very grateful for that. The timing could not be more critical. We are facing significant backlogs from the COVID-19 pandemic uh, we need this funding that the General Assembly has allocated 
so that we can truly meet our constitutional requirement that justice is administered without delay. The General Assembly has given us the funds that we need to address this staggering backlog that has been created. Uh, so it's vital for us to have this funding so that there can truly be equal justice for everyone. We are incredibly pleased with uh, this budget. Uh, you know, a budget process uh, is always interesting. Uh, you never get 100% what you ask for. Uh, the legislative branch under our constitutional form of government is the branch that has to make these very difficult decisions, weighing all the different uh, requests from the different aspects of government. Uh, and I will say that the legislature has been very in tune to the needs that we've expressed for the judicial branch. 